Welcome everyone to another episode of Align Your Mind with Jonathan and Alexa. Today we are going to be doing a very simple topic, but yet very meaningful of just simply what makes us happy. And we're hoping that you can relate it to your everyday life. Um, so I'm just going to turn it over to Alexa. So hi everyone and welcome to the episode. So today's podcast is something basic, but it's something that's also very important and something that you can never hear too much of. So Jonathan and I are basically just a quick overview. Jonathan and I are basically going to tell you guys what we do, like the little things in our lives that make us happy. And then at the end, we'll do some other suggestions that you may have already heard and you roll your eyes at or other ones you never really took into consideration. And for a week, we want you to do one thing a day that makes you happy and see if there is a difference taking time for yourself. So I guess I'll start. So I start my day with something that always makes me feel more motivated. So I wake up and the first thing I do is obviously get ready and stuff. But the first thing I do before I eat this, before I drink coffee, I go straight to the gym. Because I know that if I wait and I put it on, off, I don't do it. But that's also something that gives me motivation throughout of the day, so I'm lounging around in, you know, my pajamas, like I'm forced to shower, change, and get ready for the day. So that's one thing. And then I get home, and I make myself a breakfast that I know I'll enjoy. I'll have coffee. And while I'm having coffee, I tend not to think about school. That is a big stressor for me. So the night before, I'll write out everything I have to do so I don't have to worry about it in the morning. Thing I have to do throughout the day is just do it because I already know what I have. So there are two things that kind of take the stressors away from waking up in the morning and feeling frantic because everything that is stressful I did the night before. So taking things slow in the morning is something that is important to me. Um, I'm at my own pace. And like I said, like the first thing I do is I go to the gym, but I don't rush myself. Like I know that I have time to wash my face, brush my teeth, get out of bed, maybe scroll on my phone for a little, just wake up. Um, and those are two things that really help. So Jonathan, what about you? Yeah, I think a great point that you brought up just now was you kind of just sit the night before and try to write everything down that you possibly can. And it just reminded me. Uh, well, I'm not sure how many of you guys watched the Mindful Me Summit that we were able to have in August, but uh, one of the people Alexa and I actually interviewed was Derek Wingo, and something I wasn't expecting, what he was just talking about, I think the greatest thing to success in his eyes were time management, because it's such a crucial point, point. and um, to me, I just think I can get to the happy things and do the happy things in my life that I like whenever I have good time management skills. And uh, I think Alexa said a great point earlier, which is just to write them simply down. I personally use an agenda, and sometimes I use my phone or a little mix of them both, and uh, my online calendar, and I just try to merge everything together so I know what to get done. And then as I go throughout the day, Alexa starts off her day with gym. Um, I kind of start off my day the same way. Uh, I do physical exercise, and uh, I just think it's a feeling of accomplishment after you wake up to know that you got something a daily task almost out of your hands and to get it started away right away is really important and then uh one thing i personally like to do um is i also just like to sometimes just sit back relax and watch a good movie or tv shows because i think sometimes that's just taken for granted sometimes we try to rush through something instead of enjoying it for example i know um there's countless TV series. I'm guilty of doing this, and I'm sure you are too, of just binge watching something. And you try to like rush through it to get to the end of the series because you want to know what happens. But um, I found myself almost rewatching series at points and not binging it, just watching it when I had time, when I wanted to. And I feel like it was a lot more impactful because I got a lot more meaning and enjoyment from it. And then I kind of relate that to just everyday life. I just take everything nice and slow and try to get through it as much as I can. And uh, I think that's the same thing with the list Alexa was saying earlier, because I just like to, I'm the per kind of person that likes to write it on paper and just cross it out. And as soon as I could cross something off, it's just in a sense of accomplishment that you feel really great for. And it just brings enjoyment. Yeah, and you know, I said that I do all that, like all the notes and stuff before I go to bed. 
And of course, you don't want to end your night on a stressful note. And I know for both of us with school, looking towards the week and seeing how much we have to do is never a note to go to sleep on. For me personally, I get anxious and I'm worried, like, oh my God, can I do I have time to do this now? Am I too tired? Can I get in? And it's not necessarily my best work. And with your, you know, senior year, high school, freshman year, college grades still matter. And you want to make sure that you're putting your best effort out there. So you want to wait till the morning. That built up anxiety inside of you was saying, do it now, do it now. For me, I have everything I have down on a whiteboard that I got. I set it on my desk when I'm done. And then I come back to my bed. And the first I do, like John said, my guilty pleasure would definitely be Netflix. And I swear every other month I'm binge watching a new show. And sometimes it's good to have that guilty pleasure that, you know, you normally wouldn't end up watching Netflix. Or even if you do, and if you have the time for that, it's a great way to focus on you and just have some relaxed downtime. But with how busy I the time I really have time to do that is before I go to sleep. So do like sad movies or whatever before I go to sleep. I'm watching right now is funny it's like relatable so i do that for probably about an hour like i probably watch one or two episodes before i sleep and i end my day on a good note so if you're the type of person who's like a night owl who do all your work at night just make sure you end your day on a good note so even if it's even getting an assignment done like you have to get something done you got it done you feel proud they don't need that netflix maybe you need to go straight to sleep that's not so that's just a little tip that I have is do something that makes you happy before you go to bed. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. And um, I know personally, and I think Alexa and I are both kind of just doing the online school thing right now, whether it's on the collegiate level or elementary, middle school or high school level. So for all of our teachers and students out there, I think we're looking at a computer screen a little way too much. And we're constantly finding ourselves on our phones and watching TV just because there's so much going on in the world. One thing I definitely like to do before, like usually right before I go to sleep is sometimes I just lay down or sometimes I read a book or anything of that nature just to get my eyes away from a screen. Just because I think that's so important. Whenever we're seeing too much of something, we kind of get used to it where it's just part of like everyday reality. And uh, I know personally, I've been guilty of falling asleep when I was on my phone before. And uh, I always think those sleeps are kind of the worst just because I didn't have the purpose of going to sleep. But when I fell asleep, it was more of kind of like a forced crash. And um, I never felt like I started my other day off well with that. So I found it hard to be happy. But um, on the note of getting back to kind of what makes us happy and uh, things that we like to do is uh, sometimes I just like to drive. Um, I don't know. Some, it's just a random pleasure that I have and it's just sometimes it's just five minutes down the road just to clear my mind or sometimes it's longer drives like half an hour but uh that's one thing that I enjoy doing and uh even though it's not the greatest in South Florida because there's a lot of crazy drivers so you have to pay attention to the road at all times it's still uh something I enjoy yeah Jonathan me too actually and sometimes I'll send some money I'll go to Starbucks I'll go to Duncan but Sometimes it's worth it just to feel better. If you're having a down day, taking time, sit in the car, maybe roll your windows down, uh, listen to music is always a good thing to do to de-stress and just focus on the good or take your mind off of the bad even. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. Alexis said something that... Uh, uh, another thing... Yeah, go ahead. Alexis said something kind of that uh, just got me. She said, listen to music. I think that's another really good pleasure is just listening to a good song. It's almost like that TV show that we were talking about earlier. It's kind of the same principle. And uh, sometimes you just need to find a really good playlist. Um, one of Alexa's best friends, Bella, and uh, I listen to her playlist all the time because they're really good. And um, I don't know. It's just, I think whenever you find that right music, it can just clear your mind instantly and it could just really elevate your entire mood. Yeah, that's, a good point finding the music that fits your mood is always uplifting and the most obvious answer that we've talked about numerous times is meditating 
And of course, we have countless numbers of medications on our website, on our YouTube channel, on our podcasts, on our uh, Apple Music, wherever it is that you listen to podcasts on. You can always, always, always learn our meditations on there. Every week, there's a new one. And that's just something to keep your brain fresh. You know, sometimes you don't want to stick with the same meditation you always have. And that's why we provide new ones every week. So changing it up a bit. Maybe you found a meditation, like you're kind of getting tired of it, and you want to try something new. You can go to our website, and that'll take you to our YouTube page. And we'll see all different kinds of meditations that we have done by our own Mindful Me members. And that's always a good, even in the car, maybe you don't want to close your eyes, obviously. If, if music isn't your mood, you can put on a meditation and just focus on your breath and just listen to the voice that may calm you. And I think that that's a good way to incorporate two things that make you happy. A long drive with the windows down and some new time with the meditation. Yeah, for sure. And if you're listening to this on Thursday, September 24th, well, then uh, this Monday was a really good meditation with uh, Mr. Ryan Shaw. He was actually, uh, it was a spiritual uh, visualization meditation. And it was really cool because there was a lot of metaphors relating to nature. And um, I think if you give it a listen, you'll find a lot of uh, relatable things. But to get back a little bit on topic, uh, my thing I probably spend the most time on outside of just like regular tasks that we need to get done as being part of society is watching sports. Um, I like, I like any kind of sport you can name from basketball, football, baseball. I think they're all just really fun to watch. And um, I don't know, I think you could lose track of time, especially now because everything was postponed. And now you just have this like crazy array of sport games all going on at once. But um. I think if you kind of like, if you like doing that in your entire weekend from college football to regular football or basketball, I don't think that's something you should be like, oh, I was watching sports all weekend. I think you could be like, yeah, I was watching sports all weekend and uh, make it something positive just because sometimes the tone you put on things can have a negative uh, impact. That's a very good point. And that was actually my next point is focusing on the good and changing the way you think about things. Sometimes the thing that can make us happy is our own mindset. So like Jonathan said, you know, with college football and the NFL just starting, what, like a week and a half ago, we sit on the couch the whole weekend and binge watch college football and basketball even, whatever it is. And it's just, if you're sitting there like, oh, I'm doing anything, I'm just watching TV. But sometimes you need that time. You always say to yourself, I deserve this. Like, it was a good time to just relax and just focus and take my mind off of things that are stressing me out. And even if you are doing schoolwork and that in itself is stressing you out, something else to say to yourself, with every single word I write down or every single word I type, I'm one step at my full potential great on it and it's just one less thing I have to worry about and I know I do that a lot uh personally I'm in college right now and my English class uh we're actually writing like a seven page essay right now and I'm really great way more than that uh before in the past but right now with all my other classes on it's a lot and I just remember every page that I finished I'm one step closer to submitting the assignment and one step closer to getting the grade that I deserve and that's just something that's keeping me motivated and also so it's not much of the stress, but more as a relief to know that I'm getting it done. Yeah, Alexa, you just reminded me of something. Uh, well, one thing I will admit to being guilty of is being on TikTok a little too much sometimes where I put a timer on my phone. But I saw a TikTok the other day and it was this girl and she was like, um, I'm going to duet this every time. I find myself like wanting to give up on school or her uh, major in college. And essentially it was just like a, like a fast motion picture of what she wanted her future to be right. And her future goal was to be a doctor. And um, I just think that's kind of like relates to what Alexa said is you always have to have the bigger picture in mind of why you're doing what you're doing and what, where you want to go because that's what you're doing. I always feel if we don't, if we can't answer that question on why we're doing something, we kind of need to reevaluate 
on why we do those things. Um, because if it's not making you happy, then you really shouldn't be doing it. Uh, regardless if it's a job or your major, you should never be forced into something, which I think is uh, an important thing to kind of end things off on. When you say so, Alexa? I think so, yeah. So thank you guys so much for listening to this week's untraditional episode of Align Your Mind with Jonathan and Alexa. Please remember that on every Monday, we have a new meditation. And on every Thursday, we have a new podcast. And it is available on our website, mindfulme.org, available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and everywhere else you get podcasts. And follow our Instagram at mindfulme, Inc. That's mindful, spelled with two L's, M-E, Inc. And we can't wait to see you guys in a few weeks. Next week, we have Mind Watch with Dan and Thomas. And we also have a weekly newsletter every Sunday. And for those of you that are celebrating this weekend, happy Yom Kippur. And thank you guys so much for listening. Remember, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Align Your Mind with Jonathan and Alexa. Be sure to visit mindfulme.org for videos, meditations, and podcasts just like this. You can also listen to Mindful Me resources on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and Google Podcasts by just searching Mindful Me. Mindful with two L's, space, M-E. We can't wait to see you on there. Be sure to visit our social media at Mindful Me Inc. to stay updated on the latest news and events. I hope you have a great rest of your day.